Your star of the night. Who was it? My star of the night. Um, I mean, you can go a lot of places with this, given that the two games were combined, what, like 65 point yeah. victories? Yeah, it was, it was ugly, dude. Um, I mean, Devin Booker really broke that open for the Suns. I guess I'll go there, but you can go many which ways. Okay, Jeff, what was your biggest takeaway in these two blowouts last night, dude? Yeah, definitely two surprising results, especially considering the fact that both Dallas and Philly were coming off back-to-back impressive wins at home. You know, some people say that playoff series don't really begin until a home team loses, but these were two pretty pathetic performances, and they don't really inspire much confidence that the Mavs or Sixers can bounce back at home in Game 6. Uh, I My main takeaway from this one was that coming into the playoffs, I was concerned about Miami's lack of high-end scoring talent. They didn't have a guy who you absolutely knew could get them 30-plus when it mattered. All respect to Jimmy Butler, he's just not that guy on the offensive side of the ball. However, that's not going to be a problem if seven guys hit double digits in one game. Philly only had three players in double digits. None of them scored more than 17. Pathetic performance for them. I think both of these series could be over because as we know, It's worth noting that teams who win game five of a seven game series that's tied up 2-2 go on to win that series around 80% of the time. So I think these ones might be wrapped up. Okay, Waylon, which team do you believe is more likely to bounce back in game six at home? I I think it has to be Philly for me, but I I don't feel great about either of these. We saw very similar games in the early, in the late window. And I, I think Philly is the team that at least has a closer talent gap to Miami, whereas I think Dallas, you know, did well to steal two games uh, in games three and four. But I think Phoenix is very clearly the better team, even if the Mavs have the better player. You could make the argument that talent to talent, Philly and Miami are relatively equal. Uh, obviously, you have a lot of questions about the coaching in Philly. You have the beat injury. You have James Harden's playoff history. So that maybe makes you lean toward Miami. But in terms of talent, Philly absolutely is not a team that should be losing by 35 points to this Miami team at a pivotal game five. So. Do they have the fortitude, I guess, to bounce back? That's a pretty big question. But uh, in terms of the horses on that team, this should be a much closer series, at least than Game 5 was. 